His scathing words tonight from Nebraska's auditor. His team concluded that the Omaha School employees pension plan is getting worse, not better. Brian Mastery live with the shocking numbers and possible solutions. Brian, major changes are needed. That's in the words of the state auditor, Jacqueline. It's an enormous number. State auditor Mike Foley says the unfunded pension liability for Omaha Public Schools retirement plan exceeds $1.1 billion and that the solutions his team proposed a year ago have been largely ignored. Let's look inside the numbers. There are 15,000 people who are either paying into or collecting a pension from the retirement plan. Those are mostly teachers. According to State Auditor Foley, the Omaha School Employees Plan is funded at 57.5 percent. Now, for all the other public school districts in Nebraska, there are more than 240 of them, their plans are exceedingly healthy with more than 97 percent of the liability funded. Foley says the pension plan didn't get this way overnight, but in his view, major changes must be made. His team has found errors in pension payouts, cost of living adjustments, account balances. And with so many people in the retirement plan, 15,000, even small errors can turn into big problems. I'm, I'm very disappointed. Uh, you know, we put out a rather scathing report a year ago. And we made some noise about it, thinking that, okay, let's get, let's get their attention, let's get this thing fixed and get it on the right trajectory. It didn't happen. They didn't fix the problems we addressed. And the deficit is worse than it's ever been in the history of the program. Foley doesn't believe the problem will be fixed unless there are significant changes. In September, Nebraska's Public Employees Retirement Board will take over management of the Omaha Employees Pension Plan, but the liability of $1.1 billion stays with Omaha and its taxpayers. Now, the chief financial officer sent this letter to the 15,000 Omaha Public School Plan staff saying he's committed to a strong, stable retirement plan for generations to come, and they've been making changes. He did acknowledge in this letter that some items highlighted in last year's audit had not been addressed, but said there will be strong procedures in place by the time the state manages the plan this fall. On your side, Brian Mastry, 6 News. All right.